morning on YouTube, it's Caroline. I'm wearing my bright pink summery lipstick because the temperature has finally got above freezing. And I bought about 21 inches of books. Uh, yes, I took out my trusty ruler <laughs> and measured it because I couldn't make them all fit in a picture. So I'm going to start with the books I bought from Better World Books. If you don't know, they're an organization where you buy used books that were donated and they donate a book to like a library or an undeveloped country, something to improve literacy. It's really cute. They send you an email from your books when they ship them out. And I believe shipping is free everywhere in the world that they can ship to. Uh, obviously they can't ship to North Korea, <laughs> probably. So here are the books I bought from them. Let's try to make my pile not fall. Stay. Okay. First, I bought Jim Butcher, the book two of the Codex Alera, Academs Fury, Academs Fury, yeah. Because I own the entire series, but I lent book two to someone who never gave it back. So I bought book two to replace it in my collection. Ender's Game by Orson Scott Card. I've heard he's a huge jerk, so I don't want to support him by giving him any money, but I've heard this is a really good book, so I bought it used. Into the Woods by Tana French don't really know anything about this. I um, read the description online and I liked the cover art. I think it's pretty nice. I like pretty simple covers. So I thought I would give this one a go for like two bucks. Yeah. Ellen DeGeneres. Seriously, I'm kidding. I've been really into reading um, mostly female comedians autobiographies or books written by female comedians about things. And I figured Ellen DeGeneres would be the next one on my stop. So. Here she is. Next, we're gonna do the books I bought from Book Outlet. Everyone on YouTube knows who they are. First, Kim Harrison, Into the Woods. I read the back, it seems pretty interesting. I know it's a book from a series, but it's like short stories about the series, so I thought it might be interesting. Well, you fell. I hope you're all right. There, there, camera. The next book I bought from Book Outlet, Every You, Every Me by David Levithan. I've read a couple of his other books and I like them, so I bought this one too. City of Dark Magic. Look at this cover. It is just a beautiful cover. How could I not buy it? And I'm not going to read like the entire back, just this little part up here. Prague is a threshold to another world where the fabric of time is thin, a city steeped in blood. Doesn't that make you want to read it? Well, it makes me want to read it, so I picked it up. If I Stay by Gail Foreman, the movie just came out, and you know, read the book before you see the movie. So I got the book. I've heard both the book and the movie are pretty good and worth reading slash watching, so I got this one. Pretty Little Liars by... who's it by? Pretty Little Liars by Sarah Shepard. Uh, this is a TV show for that book challenge I'm doing. One of the things is a book that influenced a TV show or a TV show in that influenced a book. So this is the one I figured I'd pick up when I saw it for only a few dollars. I do want to get the Walking Dead ones too though, but those are like 20 bucks each and I'm not willing to spend that much right now. Now the rest of them I got a couple at my school bookstore, but most of them I got from Amazon. Aristotle and Dante discovered the secrets of the universe by Benjamin Alir Sayens. I'm sorry if I pronounced your name wrong. Not that you're watching my video, but still, I'm sorry. This was talked about by a couple YouTubers that I watched. I know it's not a new book anymore, but they talked about it and I needed $5 to get free shipping and this was a little over $5, but under $6, so I bought it. I bought a book. When you get your tax refund check and you pay off your bills, what else do you do but buy books? The Gollum and the Ginny by Helene Wecker. I've been interested in this book for a while since I first saw it come out and it was only available on hardcover. I just never felt like spending the money for it. But I'm really, really excited to read this book. I don't know how much you know about it, if you've seen anything on it, but it always seems really interesting and I'm really excited to read it. It takes place, I believe in like the 20s in New York or most of it's in New York and a golem and a ginny meet, I guess. I don't know that much about it. I've read the back a few times, but I try to go into books pretty unknowing because I like to like experience things fresh. A Discovery of Witches by Deborah Harkness. This is book one of the trilogy. I always see the book of life and I'm always like, I want to read that book. And then I see it's book three of the trilogy. So I figured I should start at the beginning. But one of my friends read half of way through this book and couldn't finish it, so I'm a little apprehensive to start reading it now. I might not be able to finish it and I might end up giving it away to someone or something, 
but I figured I would give it a shot. Um, she didn't say she didn't like it until after I already bought it. Thanks. <laughs> Lev Grossman, The Magician's Land. I own both The Magician's and The Magician's King. And I read The Magician's when it first came out, but I forget pretty much everything about it. And I have not read The Magician King yet. I was waiting for the third book in the series to come out. It's only a trilogy, so now all of the books are out and I can just plow right through them, which is my plan. Red Rising by Pierce Brown. You can see my bookmark sticking out at the top because I've already started this book. I've heard really good things about this book. M multiple of my friends have recommended it and given it five star ratings on Goodreads, so I picked it up. So far I like it. I'm only like maybe 50 pages in, probably not even 50 pages in. Let's see. I'm exactly 50 pages in. What do you know? Shadow Cabinet by Maureen Johnson, book three of The Shades of London. I loved the first one. The second one was only, only okay, but it made me really excited for the third one. So here's the third one. It's ghosty stuff, but not like I don't know, it's very well done ghosty stuff. There's bad guy ghosts that kill people and good guy ghosts that throw away trash that people leave on the floor or ground, sorry. And you get your ghosty powers to see them if you have a near-death experience, but not everyone who has a near-death experience gets ghosty powers. And it's really cool. I really love it. I love Maureen Johnson's sense of humor and like everything about her. I'm sorry, I'm a little sick right now. That's why I didn't post a video last week. I was really sick. So... I hope this, this is okay quality and I don't sound like too nasally or anything. The Coldest Girl in Cold Town. I was gonna pick up the, what is it, The Darkest Part of the Forest, I believe, but everyone says that this one's better, so I decided to read this one first and I picked it up blindly, but it's about vampires and I'm not big into vampires. Scarlet and Cress of the Lunar Chronicles. I bought Cress at my school bookstore, not realizing it was the third one and not the second one, so I had to buy the second one. I liked the first one and the second two. Second one, third one. Woo! I love the fairy tale retellings that are in the future and the cyborgs and stuff, and I just think these are so cool. Last but not least, only on the bottom because it's a big book and not like your average size book Grace's Guide. Yep, Grace Helbig on YouTube. Bought this at my school bookstore because they were going to get rid of it if nobody bought it. And I bought it. Bye guys! I'm remembering to say bye this time because I know I sometimes forget. I hope you liked my massive 21 inch, my 21 inch 18 book book haul. If I don't sound like enthusiastic about it, I really am. I'm just getting over being sick and my voice isn't like all voicey like it normally is. It's kind of hard to talk. Uh, that's why I didn't post a video last week, and I'm sorry, so please forgive me. <laughs> I've been doing so good about posting my at least once a week until last week. Okay, I'll see you next week, guys. Bye! Actually, it's more fitting if I go...